Hello and welcome. My name is Necro, and today we're playing Minecraft Story Mode Season 2. The telltale game nobody was demanding. <laughs> but yeah. This is a bit of a surprising move by Telltale, I suppose. I mean, the more public people tend to favour more towards the wa uh, the Walking Dead, because I think that's like their bread and butter. The Wolf Among Us, which has been being demanded for ages, but we are getting a second season next year, so that's good. And I f yeah, the latest one was also Batman, which was also I enjoyed it. I thought it was actually quite good, to be fair. And the second season so far has been pretty good as well. So yeah, this hasn't been recorded on release day, but I've done a good job avoiding spoilers, which is a nice change of pace for me. Also, hopefully, you guys will be noticing that my that that staticky sound on my videos is no longer present. It shouldn't be present anyway. Yeah, I fiddle around with the settings, so now that shouldn't be an issue. I think the issue was that my computer was doubling as a power source and whoop, as a power source and what the mic was going and using. But I've got but basically I've just stuck it in an old iPhone charger socket, so now it's working. Now, I'm not going to sign into my Telltale account, because A, why would I do that on camera? I'm not giving away my pies for you, even if it is just for this. And B, for some reason it's not working on Xbox. None of my Xbox games seem to sign in, they keep saying incorrect password. And I mean, I'll be on the computer and sign up next to it using the exact same stuff, and it just doesn't work. I have to say, this place looks pretty interesting. Bit more modern. Anyway, without further ado, choose how to continue your story. Yeah, fortunately, you don't actually have to have the Telltale account sort out because both games were on the same console. Otherwise, you have to upload ahead. And unfortunately, with The Walking Dead, the first day that did not work, so I wasn't able to play the game, for, unfortunately. Import save one. What? Why am I re-choosing? Did I hit the right button? Continue your story. Select your local save. Import save one. Yeah, that's what it looked like. Oh, you can change your appearance. Eh, I'll keep it the same. Oh, sorry, I was going to be wearing armor most of his time anyway. Alright. Start episode one. Let's have a quick look at what we can expect. That guy looks familiar. They're using the word alliances a lot. Barely visible before, but I'll give it a bit of a boost. I mean, no one likes to really strain their eyes, like trying to see things that are in the dark. But at the same time, I don't like putting the gamma up to freaking 100 because it ruins the whole ambiance of the dark. 
I mean, the whole point is you're not supposed to be able to see everything. I always like stories where the hero has no idea that they're destined for greatness. The sort of heroes who are living their lives and assume that nothing exciting will you ever happen. Bastards! How dare Those you make me look are the that kind of heroes in. Also, I've got to. There we go. I don't know why that's not just automatic. This story. They started as just a bunch of friends in a treehouse, looking up to their idols who had come before them. But when disaster struck and an evil monstrosity threatened to destroy the world, those friends discovered that heroes can come from the most humble of beginnings. They traveled the world to battle that monster, facing obstacles and sacrifices every step of the way. It wasn't easy, but they had each other. Except for Ruben, because he's together, dead. They struck it down and saved everyone. Soon, they were the most famous people in the whole world. And their legend, their fame, just continued to grow as they explored more worlds, venturing into the great unknown. And that's how those five friends, plus the bravest pig in the world, took their place in history as some of the greatest heroes who ever lived. Uh. Oh, uh huh. What part are we at? Am I being awesome? We thought it was great, Lucas. Although, not always technically accurate. Yeah, I mean, well, I definitely exaggerated here and there, but it was for the drama. I mean, it made us sound cool, and that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, but it might make people think we did stuff we didn't actually do. Well, you're the writer, Lucas. I know you'll make the right call. Thank you, Jesse. Change I have actress. been hoping to have it ready to read at Founding Day, but uh, next year. That was I a can't really short it's story. Founding Day already. It sneaks up on me every time. Congrats, buddy. I'm proud of you for finishing it. That took a lot of work. I'm glad you liked it. You did so much, Jesse. You're a real hero. But we all did, right? Yeah, we were all there. For uh, most of it, anyway. That's true. Um, I'll humor them. Hey, come on, guys. We all did it together. We're the Order of the Stone, after all. It is a good note, though. I'll keep that in mind when I'm editing. Should have changed well, it to Order of the Pig. This pigs. has all been really helpful feedback, guys. Once Ivor and Harper get back from their adventures, I can add a chapter about them, and then it will finally be done. Man, they've been gone a long time. Jesse, your intern. I have an Jesse, intern. Oh, hey, Radar. Fuck? Oh, gosh, wow. I didn't know all of you would be in here. <laughs> Olivia, ma'am, Axel, sir, Lucas, sir. So sorry to interrupt everyone. Oh, he is just adorable. My deepest, sincerest, utmost apologies if I've caused any inconvenience. Why would I want an intern? I want an employee. Radar, don't be so formal. Cut it out with all the sir and ma'am stuff. Interns don't always get right paid. Right, right. And that's not a good system, really. I kind of liked it. You know, so, if you, what's you know, up? if you need money, I got money a message from training. Petra that she's on her way to the mines. For that adventure you scheduled, if you hurry, you should still have time for that and your founding day duties. Oh, nice. We should get going. Yeah. Uh, about that. We've actually got our own founding day stuff we need to prep for. Yeah. I need to get back to Boomtown. I'm judging a TNT rally in the morning. And I need to finish grading some redstone assignments. I was really hoping to start in on these revisions. Oh, that's okay. I get it. You have your life, and so do I. Ah, <sighs> thanks, Jesse. Yeah, thanks. Petra will never let you hear the end of it, though. Tell Petra I said next time for sure, okay? I can't wait to see how that sword of hers is coming along. Yeah, I'll tell her. I can't believe I'm walking out of the order hall with the order. <laughs> oh, so freaking cute. I'm not sure if I like the new structure. So the other towns have founding day celebrations, huh? Of course. We were all part of taking down the Witherstorm. 
Redstonia even hosts a whole dance in Eligard's honor. Yeah, it's mostly TNT and fireworks in Boomtown. Magnus let me help design the firework finale this year. Well, I promise I will try and stop by. It was awesome to catch up with you guys. Totally. Yeah, this has been great. They're already establishing you, that Jesse. they don't see Trevor much. I really quickly. appreciate you guys coming out like this. I know it's busy. Yeah, man. Always love an excuse to visit Beacon Town. Thanks again, guys. I'll let you know as soon as I'm done with the revisions. Oh, cool. Can't wait. Axel. I tell ya, I am just the luckiest. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Getting to work with you, hanging out with the Order, and living in the coolest town in the whole world. Beacon Town! I don't know if I should be annoyed or like the guy. I mean, he's kind of that cliche like he fawns over his boss. But it doesn't seem like really synthetic. Like, the, oh, boss, that was a great move doing all that. Even though I don't think it, I'm just going to keep kissing your ass. This guy just seems like a constant state of, you know, childlike awe. Like, it's a little ridiculous, but it's not fake, it's just he's a little ridiculous. Which, to be honest, I think is a bit better than, you know, just a sick fan for sick fan's sake. I realize that some days you'd rather be out adventuring with your friends, but I'm really glad you're our leader. You just make this place awesome. I really do love this place, and it just keeps getting cooler. Right? But I mean, it does look cool. I love it too. It's exactly the kind of home I'd always dreamt of having. I know that Petra is waiting for you in the mines, but I bet people would really appreciate you helping set up for the celebration. I'll keep that in mind. Witherstorm dropped. Oh, I know! Even before I moved to Beacon Town, I came on a trip to see the beacon. I love this thing. It is pretty cool. Still can't believe after all that, all we call was a star, though. I bet one of those would look awesome on the Order Hall's front lawn. Hmm. Make it happen, Mr. Intern. Though I would prefer to call you assistant. I mean, intern makes him seem like someone I can just drop at the click of a finger. That's not that's not the case. Like I think even in real life, that's not the case where someone's just going to drop you to click their finger. But I don't know. The whole word word just for me screams temporary. Ivor and Harper are having fun out there in the portal network. Can't wait to hear about it when they get back. <laughs> See, they upgraded his house. It's cool. Okay, yeah, I've already seen all that. And oh, that's pretty cool. Seafood? Always. Why? <laughs> Jesse, dude! Oh, oh man. No. I thought you were out seeing the world. Did that? Righteous times. Thought I'd try settling down for a while, though? Like, I love danger and daring do as much as the next person, but sometimes you just want to have a place to store your junk, okay? Well, I'm so glad you're here. Man, that is just the sort of warm welcome I had hoped. You rock, Jesse, dude. Between you and me, I am worried that I won't, like, fit in here. So many rad builds, awesome people. I really want to make, like, a good first impression, you know? 
Yeah, she's on the benches, I'm sure. Thought might be helped if my front yard had a statue by the one and only Jesse. Not sure if I have time, but I'll see what I can do. Hey, hey, hey! This is going to be so cool. Scoop up that clay over there and let's get to business. Ah, a blank canvas. Wait, they're actually going to make me... Well, I have no idea what the fuck I'm going to do. Yeah, I'll just replicate this thing, the thing in the town center. Oh wait, I had it right the first time. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not that creative. And this isn't the best interface. What it is, but there it is. That is some sweet work. Nice. It is utter nonsense. Oh, it has no Jesse meaning whatsoever. Too, thanks. But I'm calling it, it abstract art. Pleasure. Well, it is an honor, me amigo, and don't be a stranger, okay? Well, she is a fascinating woman, isn't she? Very free spirited. <laughs> Keep it in your pants. That reminds me of Petra back in her early days. Speaking of whom, you said she's waiting for me at the mine shaft. Mm hmm. <laughs> Let's see what the comment is on this monstrosity. Not to pat myself on the back too hard, but there is a statue. I think I'm being, I think he's being very liberal with that word. Whoa! <gasps> Wink! Get back here! Leave Jesse alone! Hello there, Jesse! I was wondering when we'd run into each other. Thought we'd give this town of yours a try. It's quite lovely. Yeah, and I can't believe how many people are here. What are you guys doing here, though? Um, the thrill of adventure, I guess. And the stories of this place sounded awesome. Radar, this is Stacy Plays and Stampy Cat. Oh, Wink. Here, Jesse, give him a bone and he'll calm right down. Here, Wink. Nice, tasty bone. Aw, see? He likes you. Ha, <laughs> yeah. You want the rest of these back? Nah, hang on to them. I've got tons. You never know when you're going to need to tame a wolf. Well, Could thanks. Be a good Ruben number I imagine two. you're terribly busy, so we won't keep you. But you should come and see what we're working on because it's pretty cool. Yeah, what Stampy said. Anyway, our place is by the gate. Will do. See you guys later. Alright, I'm getting the impression this is a mesh town of all his adventures. Oh, those were the days. Simpler times. Like, she's got a big mesh of, like, all the stuff he's seen and done and met. Well, people he met. Kind of cool. Oh wow! It is really you. My friend told me this was a recreation of your first big build, way back before the Wither Storm, before all that stuff. Is it true? You have got to tell me more about it. I can barely even picture it. I have devoured everything Lucas has written about you guys in those days. <laughs> all right. I love talking about the good old days. Yes. I'm just so curious. Where does your inspiration come from? Was there a deeper meaning? Oh, or like a critique of the world, maybe? <laughs> I draw my inspiration from my friends. We were a team. It was a group effort. Oh, classic Jesse. I love that. 
The build I really wish I got to see was what you built to take down the Wither Storm. Now that must have been terrifying. The world coming apart at the seams? Tentacles everywhere? Well, it's like I said about drawing inspiration from my friends. We all gave each other strength during that fight. Amazing! I hope I have friends like that someday. Oh, you are just I don't know how to respond to that. Oh, and thank you so much for taking the time to stop and talk to me. No, not a problem. I'll see you around, alright? So long, random civilian. Uh... Ooh, pigs! Best pig that ever lived. I miss you, buddy. Oh, man. I wish I could have met Reuben. He sounded amazing. I read Lucas's book the other day. That chapter about Reuben almost got me crying right there. He was a hero. He saved everybody. He'd be really excited about how great Beacon Town is now. I bet that's totally true. Oh my gosh, it's you! Oh, yep, it's me. What are, what are you doing here? Oh wow, this is actually perfect. For founding day this year, we're picking a pig to play the part of Reuben on the float. Oh, that's really cute. Right? Seems a bit insensitive. Would you be interested in maybe helping me pick? I mean, who knows Reuben better than Jesse, right? Yeah. Talk about knowledgeable casting. It would be an honor to say that the pig was hand chosen by Jesse for the part. I would love to. It seems like the least I could do. Oh, that's just gonna be fantastic. Peace. Thank you so much. All right, let's see him. Okay, piggies. Show Jesse your good side. That's Esteban. Smushy Q cheeks. And Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. <laughs> I like this guy's names. That felt the most Reuben-esque. Hmm? They're all adorable. Raised all of them myself. My vote is for Lord Von Thunderpork the Sixth. No question. I mean, look at that regal little guy. Really? Ah, I knew that's who you'd choose. Fantastic. I'm partly choosing from the name, partly because since it's apparently regal, it seems like it fits Reuben. Thank you, Jesse. I'm going to get him ready. And I'll see you at the celebration. Bye! Makes me happy to see so many plants growing in Beacon Town. Yeah, it's pretty great, huh? Safe for punch people in the gut, but no, that's that's even better. What, what, why, why would you go to it again? I just wanted to see if he'd say something different. You know what? You know what? Let's give it one more try. Sugar, sugar, nice. You know, instead of just taking that pit, though, you could have taken from the top. Right. Hello, Jesse. I am telling you, Stampy. It needs to be pumpkin pie. But cake is the best, and I would know. I have it every morning for breakfast. There's some sort of problem here, guys? Hello, Jesse. We heard about this founding day celebration of yours, and we thought we'd make some sweets. Yeah, and now I'm trying to convince Mr. Stampy here to make the right decision and pick pumpkin pie. There you go with those leading presentations again. Just, not everyone likes cake, Stampy. Oh, and pumpkin pie is the universally loved food? <laughs> I think not. Why don't we have both? Oh, that's a wonderful idea, but we don't have enough ingredients. It's true. Here, you should just take the ingredients and decide for us. Yes, I fear we're going to be debating in circles all day otherwise. <laughs> you know, there might be some extra eggs and stuff around town. 
I bet you could find enough to do cake and pie. Uh, I don't have a ton of time, but I bet they'd be super surprised by that. What you looking at, citizen? I'm just checking out my latest build from the ground. I'm worried it doesn't, you know, fit. Is it putting the right energy into the universe? Is it the appropriate aesthetic addition to the tableau that is Beacon Town? I don't want to question him on this because it I might just upset perfect. him. Oh, wow! <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking this. Yeah, I love it. This just gives me even more to think about. Uh, okay then. We'll about just the... leave you to it. Is about okay? the balloon? No, I don't think so. Jesse! Over here! Oh, hey, hey! Look who it is! Jesse! Hey! Hey, guys, what are you doing? Glad you asked. We're working on a new game for Founding Day that I guarantee you is gonna be all the rage this year. Slime diving. Oh. Wanna give us a hand finishing it up? I'll let you take the first dive. Bob designed the schematics, didn't you, Bob? That sounds awesome. Let's do it. We're going to be diving off this excellent pagoda Bob designed, but we can't decide what material to use. Thoughts? I'm just conflicted because I like all of them. Oh, we know you do, Bob, but don't worry. Nothing prettier than pink wool. Let's get to it. Nice, that turned out great. And just like I promised, you can take the first dive. Is this just safe? aim for the slime. It'll be great. Go, Jesse. I'm not belly flopping. That's fucking oh, dangerous. I'm Even at a regular height. <laughs> Woo! Ta-da! Thanks, everyone. Jesse, that was incredible. Seriously, amazing dive! Thank you for that, thank you for the help before. No problem. Look, my friend's waiting, so I gotta run, but nice work. Where can I find some eggs? Oh, they gave him wings. something there. Hmm. I was able to get sugar cane. Weird. So there's something there, but how to get to it? A very peculiar. All right, just gonna do a quick run through. I'm aware I'm dragging my feet quite a bit on this episode to begin with. But to be honest, I quite like I quite like the background they've made for this. They've done a good job. I would say this is pretty impressive, you know. Okay, can't go that way. Can't go that way either. What is it, is the question. 
Okay, I don't think. I think literally the only thing I wouldn't have is sugar cane. I can't see anything else. So let's get baking. But first, let's get in the right frame of mind. <laughs> I don't know why this is so funny to me. I really don't. Oh, there's some chickens. See? Right frame of mind. Hey, an egg. Maybe that'll help me settle Stampy and Stacy's little disagreement. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Thank you. Ooh, pretty. Huh. What a lovely garden. The trees behind help. I'm telling you, Stacy, you're just being too narrow-minded with your pastry selection. People love cake. Right, and some people love pie. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse, you wouldn't have happened to have made a decision on this whole cake versus pie thing yet, have you? Yes, it's still quite the source of frustration. I'm working on it. Alright, let's see if I've got enough. Recipes. Wow, they made these easy to make. Alright, so first I need sugar. Right now, for the pie, I need an egg. Sugar. And a pumpkin. Ah, uh, right, wrong position. And let's just stick a bone in there for good measure. Oh, that'd be funny if I could. I've got two bones, put one bone in each. And boom. He said cake, she said pie, and I said, why don't we just have both? Oh, well, this is very surprising. Yeah, that's awesome. How did you do that? I eh, found some extra ingredients around town. No big deal. Well, that's fantastic, Jesse. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks. This is perfect. Look, I gotta run. Petra's waiting. I'll talk to you guys later, okay? She's gonna be pissed about waiting. Maybe I should get hit by that thing again and pretend he was attacked. <laughs> 